Hey, it's Jack here, and today we're in Las Vegas. We're going to take a ride on the high roller. That's the tallest observation Ferris wheel in North America. Let's hop on board and check it out. Well, here we are at the high roller. Got our ticket. Going up the escalator. Ticket scanned, up to the second escalator. We're on board the high roller, and here we go. It takes about 30 minutes to complete a revolution and we're going to get some spectacular views of Las Vegas and I'll show them to you as they occur. Now directly in front of us is the Link Hotel and just to the right of that is Harris and just to the right of Harris is the Venetian. As we continue to rotate around here we can see in front of us there's the Wynn Hotel off in the distance there is the Westgate Hotel. We change our position out the other way here. We can see the globe and this is going to be an entertainment venue and there's going to be hundreds of thousands of LED that illuminate the globe with the various events and so forth that's going on. Now it does move slow. It's like I said, a 30 minute rotation to get all the way through. Looking down there, we can see the just how fast or how slow you want to say it's going. It just kind of moves along at a nice, generous pace here, and we get to go around and look at the Las Vegas Valley. Now this is looking out toward Henderson. Big control tower you see in front of us, that is Las Vegas Airport. Now this direction we can see Caesar's Palace. Beyond Caesar's Palace is the Rio Hotel. As we continue to rotate through here, we're beginning to watch the Mirage Hotel materialize just above Harris there. And as we look out this way, we can see the Treasure Island, or the treasure of Treasure Island. There's the, the top of the Venetian, and behind the Venetian is the Trump International Hotel. Well, looking down here at this parking structure, it looks like someone was having fun overnight. And we got the sun in our face right now, but we can see the Bellagio straight out and also is the fountain going off at the moment. Now it's a little bit of a hazy day out here, but I'm gonna zoom in and at the top of Mount Charleston, there is a lot of snow. And that is Mount Charleston there, tallest peak in the Las Vegas Valley. We're almost reached our apex here getting close to it. As we get to the tallest point, we can see straight across there to Mandalay Bay, the Delano. See the top of the Luxor Pyramid. We can also see the tops of the buildings for New York, New York. And there's the Paris right down there below us and in front of us, with the sun coming in our face, is the Bellagio. And down below here is the Flamingo. We can look inside the pool there. It is winter time, so the pool is closed, but if it was summer, that pool would be hopping right now. Well, here we are at the apex, just before we started descent down. 
We can clearly see the Mirage now. If we look straight across, we can see Treasure Island completely now. And there's the Trump International. The Palazzo, the Wynn Hotel. And we can see this other gondola coming into view. That means we've started our descent. Over here on this side as we start our descent, we can see the Las Vegas airport. See those yellow jets all lined up, getting ready to take off to their destination. And down below, we can see the Las Vegas monorail coming down the track there. Right up there is the apex where we just were. And we're on the descent, as I said earlier. While you're on the ride, they have this television monitor that tells you where you are and how long you've been on the ride. Current time, 22 minutes, almost 23 minutes. And where are we after 23 minutes? Well, we're getting pretty close to our destination. Right down there, that's our debark point. And here comes the zip liners. Uh, we're just moments away from our debark point here on the high roller as we're going back into the station. We can see here, just a few moments ago, we we're all the way up there. Like any good tourist attraction, we exit through the sky shop. We'll go down the escalator here, see what type of merchandise they have. Well, if you want to get a crushed penny, they got a machine for that right here with many different varieties of penny, crushed pennies that you can get. Over here they've got tie stuffed animals, they've got uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts. This is all the kids stuff over here. Over here on the other side they have the adult t-shirts and sweatshirts. High roller picture frame, they do have pictures here if you want to get them professionally done and pay the price you can do that and put them in that frame right there and they have coffee mugs travel mugs and flasks and everything else here high roller branding over here on this side they have keychains and we know what we're looking for let's see if we can find it uh, here's the C's as we scroll down yep we found it we found Jack right there and over here we have last chance at Las Vegas bling bling jackets 25% off. Over here in the corner, this is all their Vegas Golden Knights accessories. And if we go up a little bit, we have a bling bling jacket. Here's a little goalie guy here. And then there's a goalie clock on this side. And if we go up a little bit more, we have our favorite mascot. There's Chance. If we pan over here to the right a little bit, we can see our Raider stuff. We got all sorts of Cool looking Raiders accessories here. They got drink cups and stuff baby right down there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this go around on the 
high roller here in Las Vegas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next one.